I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session. This is Colin McGuigan for AFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Delighted to be joined by Kurt Walker here in Frankfurt. Kurt, how are you feeling? Good, mate, good. Um, my end's done, the hard part's done, so I'm looking forward to the morrow and putting on a good show. Obviously, this is a, a massive occasion for Colin and Boxing with Potty headlining in a, world title sh- in a world title fight. For you, what do you make of this whole experience? Is this good at this stage of your career to be on a world title undercard of a stable mate like Potty in terms of Colin and Boxing? Yeah, it's, it's brilliant. Um, obviously, as an amateur, I've probably been here ten times, but it's it's a lot different as a pro. Just different the way things are the same things work, like the four o'clock way and getting stuff ready, and it's it's different. And to have a stable mate fighting for a world a pro world title is is brilliant as well. And there's plenty of Irish fans coming over, which is going to make it even more great. You said about your experiences as a an amateur. Obviously, you were at the Tokyo Olympics. You've fought in many tournaments as an amateur. How does that compare to the nights like this as a, a professional and the differences that is in the professional game now? Um, no, it's completely different to uh, fighting as a professional. It's, it's a show. You get to enjoy it a lot more, especially at this stage of my career when I'm building. But everything in amateurs is pressure. Every fight means something. Obviously, this fight means something, but it's, it's a show. and I'm going to enjoy it and I'm going to put on a good performance. Obviously, as well, you've teamed up with H. He's your head coach. How's that been for you? And what have you been working on for this opponent? What do you know about this opponent? And what can you do to exploit his weaknesses? Yeah, it's brilliant. I've been working with H even when, when I came, when I first started pro. So it's brilliant to have him. He, he's, he's on me all, all day, every day. You know, I come in for the first session, get the work done and back in at night. He's there, he's there doing everything. So it's good to have him. And, He's experienced, you know, it's good to have him in away trips, I guess. He's been to Germany with a boss before fighting, so he kind of has his burns and knows his stuff, so yeah, it's brilliant to have him. You'll be on the Belfast show, Jamie says, on the 10th of December. Big night again in Belfast, you, you've been there before on another Mike O'Connell undercard. How much are you looking forward to that one? Brilliant. Uh, I was saying to Mick after the fight, like, as a pro or amateur, it was probably my my biggest, my best experience as a boxer. It was it was brilliant having that crowd there. In my first two fights, three fights, my first two fights, yeah, there was no real crowd. I was on early. It was in different countries, so it, it, there was no real noise. But coming out there, it was it was brilliant, and I really enjoyed it. But yeah, December tenth, I'm looking forward to, it, and hopefully, an hour stepping for me. You like Kieran Malloy, same with top rank. You've a, a lot going on in terms of what they want for you in your career. Are you happy at the pace you're moving at under the the watchful eye of Jamie Conlon, Michael Conlon, obviously, and top rank? Yeah, brilliant. I couldn't have asked for anything better. You know, this is my fourth fight. I'll finish on my fifth. Should have had six in Madison Square Gardens if I didn't get uh, the cut in the eye. So, it's been the perfect year for me. And you know, I'm looking forward to hopefully getting out to America next year, doing more big shows throughout the year and, and building a record, and then start start to look at big fights. You fought on some massive undercards. Um, none obviously any bigger than Fury White at Wembley. Do you hope for more of that going forward in your career with Top Rank? Yeah, a hundred percent. You know, I look forward to big shows, but I'm I'm more looking forward to my my progression. You know, I, no matter what show it is, I don't care as long as I'm I'm progressing, and that's the main thing to me. How many times do you think that we could see you out as a pro next year? You know, you've been out five times this year. Could we potentially see the same next year? Yeah, five times next year, and then I'll hopefully put up the rounds to eight. Maybe come next summer, or maybe just after, and then start to build and start to look where where I can go in my career and what direction to take and and other stuff and. Obviously, it's learning as well. I've only I feel like I've already started again, even though it's my fourth fight. But I'm learning new stuff every fight, and I'm getting in here with different, different things to work on. Like I have the last fight and the fight before that, so yeah, it'll be good. Finally, Kurt, before I let you go, can we get a prediction off you in terms of your fight and then Potty's world title fight tomorrow night? Um, my my prediction is just for me to win. That's all I want to go and do. Um, people probably see me at my best when I'm boxing, making people miss and fast and looking good. So. That's what I'm going to try to win. I'm trying to win that people out. If it comes, it comes. I'll be happy. But if it doesn't, I'll be happy with a, a great win. And Potty, I think um, Potty. From what I hear, obviously I'm a lot lighter, but he has a, he bangs. So I'm hoping to knock it, and, that, and that's what I'm predicting. Well, Kurt, thanks very much. We'll catch up after your fight, and good luck tomorrow night. Good one, thank you.
But I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ballgame. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session.